Over here we have my rectangular prism. The length and width is 10 and the height is 18. To calculate the volume of my rectangular prism, it's length, length times width times height. 10 times 10 times 18 would equal 1,800 centimeters squared. Or 1,800 centimeters squared, it would be the same thing. To calculate the surface area of my rectangular prism, it's 8 times 4, which is 72, 10 times 4, which is 40, and when you add 72 and 40, it would be 112, and that would be the surface area for my rectangle. As for my diamond, it is technically a rectangular prism, but in my project, it's more of a diamond than the other rectangular prism I have. The width would be 4, the length and height would be 6, I believe. The volume of my diamond would be 6 times 4 times 6, which would be 144. The material cost of my rectangular prism would be $5.76. The material cost for my diamond would be $5.52. The reason why I chose chocolate covered stars were because many people love chocolate and pretzels and also stars. So why not chocolate covered stars? The box is colorful and eye popping and it's fun to eat. The difficulties were the packaging and the cost and also the temperature because the box shouldn't be too hot because the pretzels would melt or the chocolate covering the pretzels would melt. Same difference. My product needs to be kept cold, but not too cold, or it would didn't taste as well as it should. I think the problem with designing my box was I put Pac-Man in there. Pac-Man is always fun, and that's why I put it in there, because 